I'm just gonna be doing some gold panning and if I can find some bedrock, some metal detecting as well. My very first target is right here. I found it. I quit. I just wanna make a quick weird announcement. I'm tired of gold prospecting. Yeah, prospecting. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. It is a thousand hundred degrees out today and typically I'd be in the water making a sniping video but I lost my GoPro and I'm not able to find it. So today I'm just gonna be doing some gold panning and if I can find some bedrock, some metal detecting as well. Let's go. I like spaghetti. As you can see, the water level is really low right now, which makes it easier to access the deeper spots, but nearly impossible to see if you were to snipe underwater with all the silt it makes. So I just turned on this machine. My very first target is right here. That didn't take long at all. I gotta be very careful with this machine because it likes to shut off really easy. It sounds like it'll be a wire or something, but let's see. Oh, I moved it. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be wire. I found it. I quit. Target number two. Super loud, so that's probably gonna be a big piece of wire. So I only have a few hours today, so I thought I'd dust off the old gold pan and see what I could find. Aluminum. Not what we're looking for. So even though that aluminum is pretty light, there was still metal in this crevice. So I'm just gonna clean this out, put it in the pan and see what we get. And of course I don't have a spoon with me today. It wouldn't be a poly video if I never forgot stuff. An interesting fact about this area is there are a lot of black bears around. We saw two on the way in here, me and the, the claim owner. Ah! But hopefully we don't see any down here. Moments of tooth. So I see three pieces of fly poop. Not really what we're looking for, but we'll carry on. I'm gonna show you guys something super special that I just captured. A fire breathing salamander. Hello. Hello. Okay, so I wasn't gonna film this pan, but I grabbed the camera because I could see a decent little flake of gold in the corner. That's a good sign that there could be gold around. So I'm just gonna pan it all out right now. Maybe there's something better. Okay, slightly embarrassing if that piece of gold isn't in here. <laughs> I panned it out. But I'm sure it's still in here. Moments of tooth, one-handed. Okay, that, oh, wasn't even pointing the camera. There we go. We have gold. On to the next pan. So the reason why I chose this spot isn't only because there's bad rock around, we have a crevice and we actually found some metal in there, but this area is directly in line with where I found some bigger nuggets up the river. Now you can find gold just about anywhere along a river, but there is a certain line where the most gold will accumulate and that's the line you typically want to go and look for. This might not be the perfect line, but again, finding good nuggets along this line here, it's, it's obviously going to be good I think. I would normally change spots, but because we just found gold here, we might as well continue in this area. Okay, next pan. We have a nice little chunk right there. <laughs> That's not bad. It's certainly telling us that there is gold here, so we're just gonna keep digging and hopefully accumulate those all day long. Now, before I continue in the spot, I just wanna make a quick weird announcement. Number one, my beard. I know, don't ask. Maybe it's a midlife crisis. I don't know. Number two, I'm tired of gold prospecting. I'm tired of gold prospecting. 
Now, don't get me wrong, I still love it. It's my favorite thing to do, but I wanna do more. When I started the channel, I made it Pioneer Poly, not Prospecting Poly, and that's because I wanted to pioneer. I wanted to do more stuff. I wanna build like off-road Lamborghinis and go take them hiking somewhere, hiking. Take them somewhere and go camping and go exploring, maybe do some more rock climbing and I wanna do more. Ultimately, I wanna grow. I don't wanna stick in this tiny little niche called gold prospecting. Again, I love it, I'm still gonna do it, but stay tuned because I will be expanding and doing other things. Now, with that being said, I still have a lot of gold prospecting videos lined up and even some cool pieces of equipment that I'm really excited to share, so stay tuned for that. So I have my material in the pan now and I just started to notice bedrock is starting to appear here. So what that tells me is that there's gonna be a big deep pinch point right here, which hopefully has some good gold in the bottom of that. A rock. So that pan was actually really good. We found four billion pieces of nuggets, but they're too small to really see. <laughs> okay, so here's the crevice so far. It's not fully cleaned out, but we're getting there. I'm noticing the crack will start to go down here. So I think I'm gonna test this one. And if there's okay gold in it, then I'll probably continue. But if there's not much, I'll probably change spots because I'm getting bored of this spot anyway. Okay, let's pan this one out. Okay, so that's not bad. We have two little pieces of gold and I think four micro poops. So that's not bad, but I just don't want to be in this spot. I mean, like, I don't even want to pan. I, I hate panning. It's actually going to be easier once I find an editor. Hint, hint. What I'm going to do is suck up these pieces of gold, and I'm just going to cover this crack and change spots. I took my metal detector for a walk and found a brand new shovel and a shock. Other than that, I found nothing. Okay, so that's the spot we just came from, and I moved directly to this piece of bedrock, did one big hole, panned it out, and we found our best piece of the day. I'd call that almost a picker, so a poker. It has some mercury on it too, which tells us that this piece of gold touched the mercury the old time miners once dumped in this river. So I'm gonna continue in this spot and hopefully find more pieces of gold before we call it a day. I got here kinda late, so it's gonna be another shorter day, but So we found some ironstone. So obviously ironstone isn't gold, but it is a really heavy rock. So it does let us know that heavies are dropping there. Unfortunately, we didn't pick up any gold in that one. So let's keep trying. It's so much easier to pan when you're in a deep spot. Oh, I just saw a nice piece of gold. I didn't even pan it down all the way and I saw it flash out. So come on, baby. You see it? Oh, <laughs> there we go, finally. It's a nice piece of gold, I wasn't expecting that. Look at that guy, sweet. That is a little picker. I was honestly just about to give up because I wasn't seeing anything and the gravel doesn't really look right to me, but I was wrong. Will it suck up? Yes, perfect. Okay, so I'll be honest, right now the day is almost over and I'm getting sick of gold panning. Now, I do want to leave on a high note because we just found a nice piece of gold, but at the same time, I want to do maybe one more pan and then I'll call it a day. It's okay looking gravel, it's not perfect, but I can't really judge that because we just found a piece of gold. So, I'm going back to New Zealand I'm not sure exactly when, but pretty soon I'm gonna go back there, find a lot more gold. <laughs> it's not all about the gold, but there is really good gold there and I don't wanna not go not find it. So stay tuned. So two pieces of gold, one nice little piece that's kind of rough actually, looks a little sharp, and then one micro poop, but both of them together probably weigh about four ounces. All right, so this bearded Sasquatch is calling it a day. We could have gone a little bit longer, but I just 
can't get myself to do more pans. I love gold sniping and I love metal detecting. I don't mind gold panning, but just today, I'm not feeling it. Now before I show you the gold, just a quick shout out to a few of my Patreons, Colin Smith, Taylor Buck, and Melissa Russell. Thank you so much for your support and helping make these videos possible. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't say that I'm just not feeling it because when I see this gold in the pan, that is super nice gold. And maybe I'm just a little saturated because going to New Zealand, I found more gold than I've ever found and then I just compare it to here, but I mean, that's still super nice. Now I'm not gonna weigh everything in here because everything's still wet and I am in a little bit of a hurry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dry this little piece here and then weigh it and see if we made all of our money back. What are your guesses? I'm gonna say seven ounces. 0.24 grams. All right, still a nice little piece of gold. Thank you for watching this short adventure. I know my beard was a little distracting, but you'll be less distracted when you find out what kind of videos are heading your way. So please stay tuned, you're gonna love them. I love you all, goodbye.